Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know what, uh, the, the later Corvettes maybe haven't gotten to be fully collectible yet, but they're coming, and they are definitely going to be. And when you can find one where the same owner has owned it since 1980 and restored the whole car too, that's the kind of car you should get. Stack of receipts, uh, everything uh, that you could possibly want to do to a Corvette has been done to this car here, from new paint, rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission, rebuilt rear suspension, new interior, uh, restored wheels, fresh tires, goes on and on and on. And it's, uh, it's uh, I don't know, it's great looking. I, always, I gotta tell you too, I love these later Corvettes. I owned one of those, uh, like a, a collector car edition car in the late 80s, um, because I like the nose on them. I love the kicked up tail. And I think it just looks still muscular, still has that uh, great kind of cool styling where your butt's back there by the rear axle. And that looks really nice. Anyway, let's check out the paint for a second. Um, this is kind of nice too, because here you can kind of see, even though there's not a lot of type on this, we just got this car in, so we haven't really, but look at that. You can read as is or warranty or whatever so easily on there. Uh, and you can clearly see that the paint is very, very nice. Okay, so uh, let's walk around for a minute. We are talking about four wheel disc brakes. This car here has power four wheel disc brakes. Also has power steering. Um, also an independent rear suspension. A lot of people don't know that about Corvettes that, uh, they have a fully independent rear suspension, a la, you know, very expensive uh, sports cars. They've been that way for a really long time. Um, you can see in here, it's got the stainless steel calipers that have been uh, done for all the brakes. Uh, they've been restored with the stainless steel sleeves. Um, this has been repolished, repainted on the inside and restored. Beautiful lug nuts. This is a difference of, uh, of somebody who's just fixing something up to, to get rid of it versus a guy who's had a car this long, went to car shows, loved what he did, loved his car, and love to drive it once in a while. You know, the T-tops come off on this car. I believe we even have a car cover for this car. We got receipts and we got history, things like that. But uh, anyway, and talk about drive. You know, some cars, as we've talked about in the past, they're restored cars and maybe they drive okay. Uh, but this one here, this, this customer clearly wanted this car to drive as best as it could, even better than new. So the rear suspension's been rebuilt, got an upgraded, you know, gas shock system and things like that that they didn't have back in 1980. Uh, just to, to make it the ride and everything a little bit nicer. But it's matching numbers all the way through. It's all original as far as colors, condition, style, and things like that. Uh, the only upgrade might be uh, the difference between uh, the tires and I don't think they had Eagle GT2s back in 1980. So, uh, But uh, it looks really great and I think these tires look awesome on the car so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hurt it for that. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a minute. Okay, so we look under here for a second, this is nice. So we have the original uh, engine here. Now we haven't even detailed the engine compartment of this car yet. We typically do that on all the cars. And this one here, we really haven't done anything yet. But what I wanted to show you was, and the reason I was doing it early, is because this is a great way to see how a car came in. I've done nothing to this car. Uh, They're moving, they lost their, uh, their storage capacity, and they needed to find a home for it. And that's why I'm talking to you, because I think that the next enthusiast that gets his car is gonna love it just like he did too. But the reason I was bringing you here is, it's always great to see it before somebody's done something to the car to make it look even better. Just to know this is the raw way that we received it, which says, you know what, this is very nice. Got the original stickers on here, okay? All nice in there. Compressor, still has a smog pump on it, man. Check that out. No car has a smog pump on it anymore, okay? Still got the Ram Air uh, for the air cleaner. This one here, the high performance with the dual snorkel. Picks up the fresh air from the front, the cold right there and it's detailed all around there. We'll fix it up just even a little bit more. But this is circa 1980, like this is the, what the car looked like when it rolled off the assembly line. All right, so let's move the inside for a second. We'll check that out. Still got the alarm system parts in it too, which is nice. Decals are still here, all that good stuff. I want to bring you to the back of the car now because you know what, this is still great styling. Look how long this has carried on. You know, this is signature Corvette uh, tail lamps. And even the new Corvettes are uh, coming out with that same sort of style. We're seeing a lot more of this Stingray kind of rear windshield, uh, rear glass, center cap, gas cap, just like, you know, circa the 60s, 70s, 80s. It's just a great style, great body. Like this is a great bumper. Believe it or not, this is just a, a piece. You know, these cars used to be flat here. This is such a nice job they did, uh, kicking up the tail, making it a little, a little more muscular. And as you look down the side of the car, 
Like look at the exaggeration of the fender flares. Like for instance, like this was built here to go racing so that they could put big tires inside here and have room for travel while lowering the car because the lower the car is, the better it should handle. Just a nice, nice looking car. Okay, let's take a peek inside for a minute. All right, a good sign about a restoration or an older car are the little things that came from the factory. Do they still work? You know, it takes a lot to get the key and buzzer to work, believe it or not, uh, uh, footwell lighting to work. You know, those things burn out over time, wiring goes bad, whatever. It can take hours and hours or even days to trace uh, how to wire and get uh, all those little things working. And for instance, it's this here, listen to that, key and buzzer is on, okay? We even flipped the mat over here so, uh, so we don't get it dirty. But just to give you an idea, like there's the footwell lighting, which is really nice. I got that upside down. There we go. Okay, I want to show you back here too, if I could real quick. Key tops are back here. You got this storage right there. Storage bins, typical. This is nice. This is the mirrored ones too. These are not just uh, uh, the painted body color. These were pretty expensive. Okay, and then you got this right here. Covers everything up. Even the backs of the seats, man, look at this. The interior has been completely redone. This is such a great looking car. And I'll tell you what I love so much too, is you know, you see so many red cars with black interiors or red cars with red interiors. Red and tan is beautiful. Very European, very Ferrari, you know, uh, Jaguar, stuff like that. And uh, this car here, no exception. So some great things too. Power windows, uh, tilt wheel, okay? Cruise control, air conditioning, original AM FM cassette, power locks, All that stuff works, man. It's really, really nice. Has a mandatory low caliber uh, speedometer in it. Has a 7,000 RPM tack. And even this too, check this out. The clock works. Full gauges, just an exceptional, exceptional car. We got great documentation, ownership history, and all that stuff. Uh, even here, the choke light that's on that lets you know that the car is warming up is still on right now. How cool is that? You know, we talked a lot about this car, a lot about the details and stuff like that. And you may have forgotten from the video when we looked at everything. But the truth of the matter is it's the same owner since 1980. It's a 1980 Corvette and it is loaded up and it's fully restored and it's matching numbers. This is the way you want to buy a car. This is the restoration, the quality of it, the details and things like that. You could never uh, do what's been done to this car for what this car is now selling for. So really what we're trying to do is find the next enthusiast who's willing to take this on uh, enjoy it, take it to, the, uh, to their place for a while, and then maybe pass it on to the next enthusiast too. This is the next cars to continue to go up in value, and this one here, with the great condition, the options, ownership history, and great color, should surely do that. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.